Tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Lamig Israel. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop this juicy news. Hit that like button also, and look in the description box, there's a whole lot of goody, goody, goodies down there. It's a damn shame. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Because it don't make no sense that you got to fake a brain aneurysm just to sell an album. This is how diluted the music industry have gotten. You got to damn near half kill yourself just to sell a million copies. But anyway, let's go ahead and hear this. Brother Israel? Yes, sir. Go right ahead. All righty. This is coming from hip hop new hot new hip hop dot com. Article headline is Dr. Dre's back in the studio, then joins hints he touch dropping in two thousand and twenty one. Just got out. Just got yeah. out of the hospital. And the first thing you can think of is a Detox 21? Negroes, please, who the hell you think you fooling? You been had this plan even before your divorce. You had this already in the making. And you wasn't in no hospital from no brain aneurysm, Dr. Dre. You went to the same place where Dave Chappelle went. You remember Dave Chappelle, people? When Dave Chappelle was supposed to negotiate his contract with Comedy Central for $50 million. But then he went missing because he was in Africa doing the rituals. And then when he came back to America, what did he get? He didn't get his Comedy Central contract. He didn't get the $50 million. No. But he did get a $150 million Netflix deal. So he doubled... Actually, that's tripled. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's tripled. His worth from fifty million dollars to one hundred and fifty million dollars. That's tripling what you was initially supposed to get on a Netflix deal, streaming. So he's streaming on Netflix. He got a comedy show. Now you got Dr. Dre. Said he was in the hospital, but he was in Africa. Come back. Detox 21 coming. I done took it in the butt. I done took it in the butt. Now it's time for me to strut. Go ahead, Brother Israel. Alrighty. The hip hop community was shocked after finding out about Dr. Dre's scary hospitalization. The legendary rapper producer suffered a brain aneurysm and was admitted to the into the ICU as he recovered. Thankfully, medical health professionals assisting Dr. Trey. Dre. Did you say Dr. Trey? <laughs> Dr. Dr. Dre took good care of him and even said after a week that there wasn't a bad outcome on the horizon. Ice-T has been among those who provided updates on the doc during his stint in ICU. Wait, wait a minute, hold up. Who the hell is Ice-T? I mean, I, I, I drank Arizona Ice-T. Ice-T need, ice need to be brought up on charges for culture vulture. He done culture vultured rap music and butchered it for years. He should be brought up on charges. He really should. Honestly, he should. Because, you know, he actually goes on platforms and speaks, you know, as if he actually put in hardcore work and uh, put out as many, you know, hot hit records and, you know, became so legendary when... I'm sorry, Mr. Ice-T. I don't know you for any of your records. Let me tell you what makes Ice-T records hot. Is when they put it as a soundtrack to a movie. Because the people who watch the movie will be listening to the soundtrack. And there's a lot of other artists that saw in that soundtrack. 
So they have no choice but to buy the soundtrack, which includes his music. That's what happens. They stumble across buying his music. Nobody wants to buy his music voluntarily. <laughs> Go ahead. So, like, like, uh, like, uh, for example, when, um, when he came at Soldier Boy, when he first was coming up as a young man, you know, when first Soldier Boy first got in the game, you know how IT was the first person to actually say something against him? AC was? Biggest, what? He was? Yeah, Dad. I, I didn't know that. Why is old ass Ice T saying anything when about Soldier Boy? Boy? When Soldier Boy first got his, uh. I believe it was Soldier Boy. When Soldier Boy first got his, uh. Got his rise to, you know, he was becoming big for the first time. Uh huh. And, uh. I T caught a uh, whiff of it. I, this is when Crank that was big, and he was like, "Oh, this uh, these kids nowadays messing up the rap game." He was like, "Soldier Boy, eat dick, right?" Pretty much just like that to a sixteen-year-old. Wait a minute, hold up, kid. hold up. This is one of your oldest, uh, one of your uh, mature rappers telling a sixteen-year-old to eat dick because he's apparently messing up rap. You know who he messed up rap? Ice T messed up rap. <laughs> that nigga can't rap. And that's the whole reason why he came at him. Cause <laughs> Soldier Boy did better numbers first coming out than Ice T ever did in his whole entire career. No, the only time Ice T did numbers is when his song was linked to a soundtrack of a movie. That's the only time his his album did numbers. The other only time, well, the only other time his album did numbers is when he made a rock and roll song screaming through the whole song talking about Cop Killer. That was the only song that did numbers that wasn't on a soundtrack. And of course, that's going to do numbers because you are feeding in to the Negroes' hate. For police. The Negroes hate police. So guess what? The Negroes is going to buy your music because they feel the same way. Cup killer. Yeah, that's the only reason why. Because it, it fit what they were going through at that time. Yeah, Rodney King. Think about it. Let's play, let's play that, right? Let's play that song right now. How many niggas is actually going to listen to that shit? Hell, nobody. Oh, you know what I'm saying? People would rather listen to mumble rap over Ice T. Any day. Because, Anytime. see, because he did that capitalizing off of the, you know what I'm saying? Because back then it was Rodney King when Rodney King got beat up, beat by the, all them LA police officers. So, they, you know what I'm saying? It was a big hatred towards the police amongst the niggas. So, you know what I'm saying? So, he tried to capitalize off of that. Yeah, nah, this, this guy's black. All right. Um, on Friday, he confirmed that Dr. Dre finally returned home. Update, just FaceTime with Dr. Dre. Ice T wrote, he just made it home, safe, and looking good. That's kind of flamboyant, if you ask me. Decades after found, uh, founding the art form of gangster rap, and Ice T continues to prove that there's no cap in this rap. Producer Focus took to Instagram where he shared a photo of Dr. Dre and a group of others, including Phoenix, Beats, Snitty, some joints, and more, posing together in the studio. My big brother is super good. We work in, I took a pic, so I'm here. Focus captioned the post. A more insightful post came from the joints who shared the same photo. He didn't say anything more than, and we back. Hashtag detox twenty one. Now twenty yeah twenty one. Now Dr. Dre now Dre himself has confirmed that this would be happening, and if we were and if we're being honest, nobody will actually believe detox is released unless it actually drops. But it would be great if we could hear what he's been working on for all these years. 
Oh, I'll tell you right there what he's been wearing up all these years. So this been playing, been at this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that hospital thing, that was just ritual. He went to go do his damn ritual so that he can so that he can drop the album. Oh, I see. Look at this. For a comprehensive breakdown of the history behind the mythical album, check out Dr. Dre's Detox, A Complete History. And that's an actual link on in this uh article. Hmm. I'll be posting that on you guys can check that out for yourself. To find out what that's about, because I didn't get to uh actually uh, click on that link. And then you got the the what is this Instagram post that had, this is Focus, uh, the producer Focus. When mm -hmm. he posted this, right? He has 42k followers. Exactly. He have 42,000 followers. Exactly. That was a uh, focus. And for and for um for him to be even mentioned amongst Dr. Dre and mentioned in that news article that he has to also he also is going through rituals also. Yep, him. Uh, focus and what's the other one? Um, them joints also is going through one too. And when they they're posting video, they have fifty three point two k followers. Yeah, yeah. Both of them are the probably going to be the next runners up to be the best DJs. They they doing some rituals to come up. They're coming up. Yep, all three of them. Mm hmm. But uh, I think that's going no. to... Go yeah. ahead. That's the end of the article right there. Okay. That's going to wrap it up for this show. want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Brother Lamig Israel. If you are new to this page, please hit that follow button as I bring more shows to a computer screen near you. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this juicy news. And uh, there's a lot of goody goods in the description box below. Check that out. Uh, if you want to join, if you want to check out Brother Israel's teachings tonight, every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Brother Israel will be, his shows is every Tuesday night. You all say on 90.1 Israelite Radio. That's on Facebook. Go to 90.1 Israelite Radio on Facebook, and you can tune in to Brother Israelite. I mean, Brother, Brother Israelite. <laughs> you, can, you can tune in to Brother Israel's show on the 12 Tribes of Israel tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or you can join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.